This is the fastest defense in Madden 24. We can go. Woo! It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. Against instant sacks all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video are from my brand new Denver Broncos offense and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. As these two might be my two favorite playbooks to use in the game right now. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. In today's gameplay, I'm going to be facing what's probably the fastest team in Madden history in the overpowered Miami Dolphins. I usually run my 3-4 defense all game, and I start out this game doing that as well. But this is the first time since Madden 24 began that someone is going to force me out of it. This game starts out basically the same as it always does as we shut down the run on the first play. Nope. And then almost get a sack on the second. Nope. But then on third and long, he hikes the ball while I'm still setting up my defense, and there's nobody covering Tyreek Hill as we get a huge blown coverage on the fastest player in the game. Ah! You mother... On offense, I go right down the field before I throw an interception in the red zone. And my opponent makes another big play against his defense, this time on the ground. Lame. As Raheem Mostert is also the fastest running back in the game. Not cool. Totally lame. So down a quick 14-0, it's clear to me that I'm going to have to use a new defense on the next possession that allows me to get a little bit more speed on the field. I'm going to be debuting a new offense in this video as well in the gun wing slot offset, as this is one of the best formations in the game this year, and I have a lot of videos planned about this offense coming in the next few days, so... <laughs> Hit the like button and let me know in the comments section if you guys want to see that. I start this drive with the camera already shaking early in the first quarter. So I hit the running back underneath for an easy catch and run for the first down before he gets me right back into a third and long that I beat up the seam for another big first down. First down! From here I read cover zero so I go back to the tight end over the middle again on the next play. You got most. Before he gets me to a critical third down again inside the five. And we hit the dragging tight end to pull back within seven. The defense I'm going to highlight today is the big nickel over G, as this has a lot more safeties and cornerbacks on the field to try to match the speed of the Dolphins' offense. The Eagles do have one fast linebacker, so I will keep N'Kobe Dean in the game so he can help out with the run, as having too many safeties and cornerbacks on the field can get you weak boxed against elite linemen. But I'm going to swap out the other linebacker for a safety to give me a total of six defensive backs on the field, three cornerbacks and three safeties. For my coaching adjustment, the most important one to set is to make sure that you're auto alignment is set to base as i'm going to be using a lot of different coverages from this formation and this adjustment will make sure they all look the same pre-snap giving me a lot of advantages for my audible plays i'm going to choose a lot of different coverages with the same blitzing safety from the ss linebacker blitz which in this formation has several in both cover two and cover three but the blitz and base setup are the exact same for all of them the setup for all these blitzes are simply to pinch the defensive line and hover either the guard or center gap before dropping back into coverage when it comes to the man zero blitzes though there are two different ways to run these defenses. On this first play, I'm going to send extra pressure by blitzing the user assigned to the running back. I'm still going to drop back after the snap, but in this variation, the result of sending the extra defender means that I will have a coverage responsibility to the running back. If he goes out on a pattern, I will have to follow, but if he blocks, I can do whatever I want. The only other adjustment is to guess pass in obvious passing situations to make the rushers go right after the quarterback and ignore any play action fakes. And on the first play, he runs some sort of trick play that the blitzers get for a five yard loss. <laughs> Your ass down. On the next play, I choose to do more of a coverage setup, this time by using the linebacker that is already blitzing before pinching and hovering the gap the exact same way. This setup can still get pressure, but you won't have any coverage responsibility after the snap, allowing you to do whatever you want and help cut off routes over the middle. On third and long, since I used man zero in the last two plays, I decided to throw a curveball by switching to the cover three variation on the next play, as this setup is the exact same and so are the results. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Back on offense, my opponent is switching up his coverages as well, making it very difficult to read, but I catch him in a cover two and get a big play over the top. Before he gets me to another fourth and long from midfield that I have to go for. And since he has been running a lot of man coverages, I'm going to choose the PA double post one more time, only this time, my motion across the tight end, and now he will run away from his man defender, getting open by a mile. Thank you! 
to keep the drive alive. From here, I hit the drag once again to get down to the one before hitting the running back underneath to tie the game. Do it! Back on defense, we go back to the cover three blitz to start the drive, and he already is getting the ball out fast, which is fine by me. I switch to the cover two version on the next play, but before I do, I make sure to set my flats to default and my zone coverage to match, as this is a matching version of cover two. So doing this will make the cornerbacks cover better and man match deeper routes in their area. For this play, I usually like to put the safety at linebacker into a middle third to take away the biggest vulnerability inside, and I probably would have had an interception if I didn't click on expecting to be the linebacker and accidentally move the safety out of position, allowing a huge catch to let my opponent get in the field goal range. From here, I go back to the SS safety blitz to slow him down. And <laughs> And even though there's still 24 seconds left, he lines up for a field goal since he has no timeouts and is just one sack away from getting no points at all. What a pussy. I only have one timeout, but he leaves me enough time to take a shot of my own. Break yourself, fool! As he makes a coverage mistake as well. Oh my god, bro, really? Allowing me to tie the game right back before half. Fuck you! In the second half, I get the ball to start, and he has been shutting down my run game all day while also changing coverages every play, making it very hard to diagnose. I read what looks like a cover two man on the next play, though, so this is my opportunity to show you guys a new one-play touchdown from this formation from the wheel post drag, which I always keep in my audible plays. All you have to do for this play to work against any cover two man or zone is motion across the tight end and put him on a streak to pull back the safety. And watch how these routes cause the cornerbacks to run into one another. as we take the lead right back. Back on defense, I go back to cover two just to mix up my coverages and not get predictable before going right back to the SS linebacker blitz. This defense has been the most effective, so I stay in it on the next play, and the coverage is all over Tyreek Hill. Gotcha, bitch. As Slay cuts off the route, and we start the next drive in scoring range already. From here, I just want to milk the clock a little since I already have the lead, and I'm guaranteed to extend it if I don't do anything stupid. So I run the ball a few times and get to third and short before I work that drag to the tight end one more time to get inside the 10, before finishing the drive with my most successful run of the game. That's just too easy. Now a big my opponent comes out in almost a goal line package as he clearly wants to try to run and overpower this small defense. So I switch to the cover 6 that I have in my audibles as the cover 4 safeties play the run best and this coverage at least has half of a cover 4 giving me at least one safety that will prioritize the run first. I also hard flat before the snap for outside run defense and he gets very little on the first carry. How about new? He changes up to a bunch formation on the next play so I go right back to the manager blitz and he finally beats it with a crossing route right before the pressure gets home. He goes under center again on the next play so expecting a run I switch to another man zero blitz defense from this formation called the linebacker blitz and we get a free rusher but since I didn't get his pass he takes out the running back instead and my opponent completes a big pass downfield to Jalen Waddle in a crowd I switch to cover two from here but this is easily the worst coverage of the three defenses that I showed today before he goes right back under center and I go right back to the linebacker blitz to shut the run down no! I wait to see whether he's going to come out under center or in shotgun before calling the next play as it's an obvious tell on whether or not he's going to run or pass. And when I see he comes out in shotgun, I call another new blitz in the casino blitz, which is really the exact same setup, only this time I don't have to blitz the user as it's already on a blitz. Saving me one step in the process as he completes another tough pass to get to a third and short. From here, the pressure forces another bad pass that falls incomplete to bring up a critical fourth and four that he needs to convert to stay in this game. No soup for you! As we take over on downs and my opponent makes his exit. To recap the game though, my opponent's speed advantage got him up a quick 14-0 with two huge plays against my 3 for odd defense before I switched defenses to the big nickel over G, scoring almost 31 unanswered with the only points allowed being a user error by me in coverage. So if that's that's the video, give this defense a try and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my videos and more. Link in the description below.